La la la. Hi guys, today, hi guys, it's Holly or Riven Lee here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a basic layout for horse, and then I'm going to show you how to code that layout. So I'm going to show you today how to code your own HTML layouts for horse. Okay. First what we do, so, wait, so I'll just show you first. Here we go. So as in, we're going to be coding one of these. Not this style of layout, but just a layout. Some of you might know me. Okay. First, what you've got to do is you've got to open GIMP 2.8. Well, it doesn't have to be 2.8. It can be 2.6 or anything. But just open your current version of GIMP. I have the newest version, 2.8 for Mac OS X Lion. And I'm going to be using that today. It's, it's a free download off the internet, it's safe, just Google it and it should come up. So just click on that and it's open. What we're going to do is we're just going to make a basic one because I really don't have time to show you the whole fancy. I'll make, there's another video on how to make the fancy layout you saw on my page. And another video how to make a different style of layout. But this is the one how to code. So first up, go File, New. Now... As a layout, I like my um, I like my layouts to be around 800 width. It's a nice even number and it suits the page well. Let's say 1,000. I like mine to be 800 and then longer than 800. I don't like square layouts. That's what I like. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is first we're going to color it. So color, we're going to make it a... Aqua layout today. And now we're going to add some effects. So we'll go paintbrush. Jitter. So ready? So. Nope, start again. Not that much jitter. And we'll make the brush bigger. Oh. Nope. Hang on with me for a minute. Ah. Here we go. Okay. Let's just go. Okay. So now we've given our layout a bit of decoration. Can it give it a little bit more? So. Okay, so now our layout's got some decoration. Next, we're going to add a bit of colour. Well, a touch of different colour. So we go... Let's pick a new shade, a darker shade I'm going to use. Then I'm going to go with apply jitter. There. So our layout's very interesting and colourful. Next we need to add text boxes. So today I'm going to show you how to make code two text no. Yeah, two text boxes, sorry. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go use this tool. We're going to make one big one here. We're going to go right click, edit, fill with BG color. Then we're going to go right click, edit, fade, fill with background color. I like to make mine about 30. About there. I think that's good. Now, we're going to add a new layer. Transparent. Okay. Next up, we make a new one. This one should be about. Hmm. I'm gonna start this one about there. So up. There we go. 
image that up a bit. Oh. And just level that out. There we go. Now edit, fill with BG color, edit, fade, fill with BG color, so again 30. Next, we are going to add our heading. So you press that A button, and now we're just going to go drag that across there. Now it's really small, so we go color. I want that to be black. Then I'm going to go my favorite fonts, Edwardian script. So you just type in here what you want. But you can scroll through all the many, many fonts. But once you find a font you like, just type it in. And we're going to make that a whole lot bigger. So just okay. So that should be big enough. So we're going to go. New layer. Sub. Now I want to put a quote in that I love. So I'm going to go drag that there. Oop, right, sorry. Just make that quite a bit smaller. <laughs> a lot smaller actually, so we're going to make that 20. I'm going to pick a basic font for that so you can go this. Color. Like that color. Now I'm going to make it centered. Then you click on it again. I'm going to press enter, then I'm going to put who wrote it. I'm going to make that wider. Now I'm going to move it. Always prick move the active layer, otherwise it's a beast to move. Now I'm going to have that about there. And I'm going to do a new layer. And I'm going to go uh, subheadings. Then I'm going to put that there. Drag that across there. And I'm going to my my game and that can be moved that that way make that black so it stands out that's good then we're going to do a new one About me. Oop. So I'm going to move that. There. Now, the most important step is putting the credits on. Now, if you don't do this correctly, you can be sued. So I'd pay attention. Now, because we haven't used any images here, all the, the credits, all the credits need to be are, let's put the credits down the bottom here. All they need to say is layout by Riven Lee. But if you have an image, say on my mat, on my layout on my profile page, 
the unicorn image wasn't made by me. It was made by somebody off DeviantArt called, called Leslie Marie Manips. And so I would I ha wrote on my la layout, Manip by Leslie Marie Manips, layout by Riven Lee, all at DeviantArt.com. So you have to say who made it, where you found it, and you have to make sure you have permission to use that image. But here we don't have any images, so we can just keep going. Now, so we're going to go File. You can go Save, but that will save it as an XCF file. And that means whenever you want to see what you've created, you have to go into GIMP and open it as a GIMP file. This is good if you're not finished and you want to keep editing it, but when you know you're finished, what you do is you go File, Export. And you export it as a JPEG. So I'm going to call mine... I'm going to put it in my on my desktop. I'm going to make that 100% quality, and I'm going to just have a look at it quickly. Yeah, that looks a bit. That looks about right. Now export. So I'm going to quit GIMP. So quit GIMP. Here we go. So here is our layout. Which I'm very happy with as a tutorial layout. Next up, what we need is we need the image URL. So what we're going to go is we're going to go to Teeny Pick. I like using Teeny Pick the best. Choose File, then go Desktop. I've got upload now. Now they have to do this to make sure you are not a computer, so just type in what you see on the screen. And that video is annoying me. Now that's what we need. We need the direct link for layouts. The you okay, I'm just gonna quickly tell you what each of these do. The HTML goes if you want the HTML goes in the HTML mode of your profile page. If you put the if you um, HTML it, so if you put the HTML of this image on your profile page, when you save your profile, people will actually be able to click on this image and it will take them to TeenyPic. I don't like that, so I tend to not use that method. But it is handy for websites and things. Now the IMG code is what you paste down if you want to paste this in a f put this in a forum. See, if you go to my ban, my graphics examples in my forum, I have all the images in the forum. I use the IMG code, so just copy that down. URL for email and IM means you can em, you put that in your email and they can see it is a direct file. The direct link for layouts is just the image URL. So you look, see, you go to copy and you go... See, there we go. So that's just the image URL. So we're going to keep that up. Next up, so I actually, when you're doing a new layout, I highly suggest you delete all your profile. Now, I'm not going to delete all my profile. I'm just going to show you. Hey! Pardon, sorry. There. Now. What we're going to do is we're going to get... I have a template already made here, so I'm going to get that so sticky is. Here we go. I'm going to paste that in there. Now, so div style opens it. You need to keep that there. So here in the width, you enter how tall your... How tall your picture is. So mine was 800. No, how wide yours picture was, excuse me. Height, how high your picture was. Ours was 1000 pixels. And then here, just ignore all this stuff I'm passing. Then here in this URL, where the teeny pick URL is, is where you put your image, your background, layout background,